It's not very often that I watch a movie that feels like an incredible experience and journey, but that's exactly what Dune Part 2 was, and I hadn't seen the first part. It came out during uh, the crazy years of 2020, and so I just missed it, even though I wanted to see it, and so I watched it recently and was like, man, the world building and the their ability to like drive you into this universe was so cool and wonderful and then when it ends because i was gonna go see it that week i like couldn't wait to see the second part and part of me was happy that i didn't see it initially because i would have been dying for this second part but i've seen it and my mind has been absolutely blown away by it i've seen it multiple times over this weekend and i kind of wanted to just share my thoughts with you especially with the announcement of the video game and them showing us more of that uh, it feels like dunes kind of in the air and so i wanted to share my thoughts these are going to be spoiler filled um that i'm just going to kind of dive into three different things that really stood out to me in this film and so if you haven't seen the film and you're worried about spoilers um, add this to your favorites or to watch later and come back to this video. But with that being said, let's dive into Dune Part 2. So first off, I just want to say the acting in this movie was incredible. That everybody knocked their performances out of the park. Um, that there's a lot of big name actors in this film. And I never saw them as those actors. That they totally engrossed themselves in their characters and everybody shines i can't think of a single performance done in this film that wasn't done incredibly well that you have people giving the performances of their lives in this thing and it really makes you just feel like you're in this world um austin butler really stands out to me because the only other movie i've seen him in is elvis and so to see him play a different character that's just a maniacal evil person who will kill you at a moment's notice was really interesting he played that insanely well and then timothy chalamet man that guy has chops then in the first beginning part of this movie and in the last movie you see him as this reluctant hero where he doesn't believe in this prophecy he doesn't want to go through with this he doesn't really want um to do what everybody wants him to do and he kind of plays a softer character and then there's a switch at the halfway point when he drinks the living water and he's able to see his prophecies and dreams more clearly where he just becomes a like commander in chief when he walks in that room with all of the fundamentalists and is screaming and being like who can face me and whatever like i was like man like getting chills where it was he carried this movie and had such a great performance um that really the acting in this is incredible and then secondly man the vfx and the world building again the first one was incredible um that everything looks real and i imagine there's a lot of real sets it doesn't feel like tons of blue screen but the way they're able to mix practical and um, digital effects and create a world was really cool. That There was no point in this film where I was taken out of it by something looking unrealistic. And as a big fan of superhero movies, lately that's been a hard thing where there's a lot of like really bad, quickly done CGI. And so to go into a movie and never once even think about like, oh, that's animated um, was incredible. And then visually from a film filming standpoint and cinematography standpoint every shot could be a poster that they whoever's doing the cinematography on this thing did an incredible job and the atmosphere they're able to build through visuals is incredible and of course in the story the the, the world they're able to build and just how engrossing this world is is so rich um that that's a really rare thing to find in movies and so the vfx um, the cinematographers, uh, the people behind the world building did an incredible job. Then lastly, the story. This story is incredible. And the first movie really feels like three hours of building up a world um, to get to this climax. And even for the first half of this movie, it's still building where you're watching this person who is being said to be this prophet that these people have been waiting for show up. And you can't tell whether he is or isn't i love the part and the scene where he says guys i'm not the prophet and then they go oh of course this is what the prophet would do he wouldn't tell us he's the prophet because he's too humble this just proves all the more that he's our messiah um that you can't tell in the movie whether or not this prophecy is real or not and that was done really really well and you see him go through this and begin fulfilling these things but you still constantly feel like 
is this actually even real? And then he eventually is forced to go to the fundamentalists in the South against his will. And you feel the horror and it, just the way they build that up and like millions are going to die if I go here. And all I see is essentially nuclear warfare and a nuclear holocaust. I can't go there the tension you're able to feel and even for his mom um that she's such an interesting character of being like is she good is she a villain is she manipulating people or is she in like a negative way or is she trying to manipulate people to bring about the prophecy like she's such a hard character to figure out and they handle that tension between uh, paul and his mom so incredibly well and when he goes to the fundamentalist and he drinks the juice and he comes back to life and then all of a sudden he is completely different and then he goes in is like bam we're gonna do this we're gonna take over we're gonna get revenge they find the nukes and then their plan to take over and to bring the emperor and the plot twist of the emperor actually killing his dad and that everybody's just a pawn of the emperor but then it's not even just the emperor everybody's a pawn to this like cult of women who are secretly all controlling everything and making contingency plans and making offspring um with a bunch of different lines was so interesting and just plot twisty and then the final battle was absolutely incredible you got them riding on these giant worms and shooting nukes and the the combat and the action Action is insane that knife fight between timothy chalamet and austin butler was so well done i i like my mind was blown and at the end it felt satisfying but i felt like man where does this thing go next because i haven't read the book so i don't really know and i'm like they're gonna go into this holy war and fight everybody now how is that gonna go is he actually this prof prophetic messiah or has he just been filling into this role and it seems like it is he gonna bring the destruction that he prophesied and are millions going to enter into a nuclear holocaust because of him so many questions and then on top of that his relationship with, with zendaya is absolutely so well done that it never feels forced or contrived that it feels genuine and you watch her perspective where she's feeling all of these things and questions that you as the viewer are supposed to be having of like is this prophecy even real um should he be going to war like this um why is he taking on this emperor role it seems like he just wants power now and then at the end when he's like i'm gonna marry the emperor's daughter versus you and you're like oh man like <laughs> and you get it like you get um paul's vantage point of that of being like he's making a political alliance move that makes sense from a giant kingly leader but this is totally at tension with the person he was and the life he was living and ever since he's gone to the south he's a very different person and all of that was just so well done that the story was so incredible and just all around this movie was a masterpiece but with that being said, I want to know what you guys think. So head down to the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts. I would love to dialogue with you guys about this movie. That this thing feels like an incredible experience movie that we only get every decade. Like it feels like another Lord of the Rings or another um, Avatar. Because the first Avatar was pretty huge when that thing first came out. And so I really want to have a conversation with you guys. So head down to the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts. Did you like this movie? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let's have that discussion. Like, comment, subscribe all that junk and i will see you guys in the next one